four children. The first one was born with John. At the he house? He was born at the house in Phoenix City. Not in the house, but he went to the, He did go to the hospital to get born. <laughs> he went on over there. But he was born he into that house. Yeah. She Look. came back home. And, uh, he really cut up that night he came home. <laughs> And the said, we're not going to give him a pacifier. And Miss Tidmore came over there. She was spending the night with us. And he just went, oh, oh, all night long. He was hollering and hollering. Give that baby a pacifier, please. <coughs> and so finally they gave him a pacifier and he just went on to sleep. So that was a key hospital. psychological moment. In the hospital, I was so proud to see him and I brought my mom over there to see him and he had to look through a glass to see the baby then. And I said, Mama, Mama, look here. Look here, Mama. Look what a baby. And he was a fine little fella. Who was next? And then, well, I'll tell one more incident about Jonathan first. <laughs> So John, we bought another Leave. house after that first three hundred dollar house and bought a fifteen hundred dollar house. Wow. And ended up on Somerville Road on forty sixth street. That's where we want to go back to now. But when we was up there we had two bedrooms and Jonathan was in one and we was in and Jonathan, he was just a little old tiny baby, and he'd get up on that baby bed and just jump like a monkey. <laughs> he'd holler and holler. All he just said, just let him holler it out. He kept on hollering. And he and would hollering. shake it. He would shake the baby. He was 10 months old, almost well, 10 years old when he was doing well, that. That's what I would do when I was living at your <laughs> so house. Was, so finally, we just let him come in and sleep between me and Glover, and he went on to sleep. Oh. <laughs> He was. So then the next baby was born with Joel. You tell about Joel. Yes, because this will just show you how my husband has always treated me. My husband uh, got a real good job uh, in Atlanta after he didn't have real good jobs in Phoenix City. And he said that he had always wanted to work for a big eight firm. And so he was going to move me to Atlanta. And my mama told me to tell him that I just wasn't going to Atlanta. And I said, but mama, I can't do that because he's my husband and I want him to be happy in his work. So he made us move to Atlanta. And it was completely of his making that we accidentally got pregnant with Joe. And so... I was living, I was teaching school. We lived in an apartment. We didn't have any money, much, but we were making it. And so, at his job, it came out that John, John would have to travel some in his work. And that, that being the case, I decided that I would go down and stay with Mama, because Joel was born, he was expected in September, in September, so I had to give up. I was finished with my teaching job. And so I went down and stayed with Mama so I could have Joel. And so the man next door, Roy Gresham, when I went into labor, Roy Gresham took me to the hospital. And Mama said, let's just don't call John. He said, you don't need him. And I said, but Mama, this is his baby too. And I said, now we have got to call him. And so he came uh, down from Atlanta to see us. But then he had to fly. They were sending him to New York, I believe. Mm -hmm. They sent him away, so he had to leave me. As soon as he came by the hospital to see Joel, he had to leave. And I had back then, women stayed in the hospital three days or more. And so I stayed in the hospital, and when it came time to, for me to go home with the baby, and Jonathan, I had to go to my mother's little house with Joel, a newborn baby, and Jonathan, a two-year-old, which was really hard on my mother. And John went on to New York, and uh, we didn't go home for until the baby was six weeks up. Joel was a fine little fella. My daddy, we was at my mom and daddy's house on 34th Street in Phoenix City, and. 
He was about three. Yes. About he might three. have been about two. I no, think. he was three. He was. He came around, and Daddy used to make what you call time. He Orange put juice. some powder. He makes some powder with some water and it makes orange juice drink. And he had mixed up a bottle of it, but it was in the refrigerator. And Joel came along there and just knocked it on the refrigerator like that. <laughs> and Papa saw it. My daddy saw him. He reached in and there. He reached in there and patted the. Well, he want what he wanted. He didn't want regular says, orange juice. He this wanted. child is going to break the IQ machine. <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? He said Joel was so smart oh, because he had regular orange machine. juice and he had the mixture and Joel patted the bottle of mixture. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Mr. Johnson said, I'm telling you, he's going to break the IQ machine because he knew the difference between those two bottles. <laughs>